In this video, we're going to talk about shares and dividends. Shares or stocks represent a part ownership in a company. So a company might come along and they might not have much money. So what they do is they say, all right, we'll, we'll split our company into 1 million shares and we still want to keep some ownership of the company. So we'll keep, um, we'll keep half the shares. So we'll keep 500,000 shares so that we still own at least half of the company and we'll sell the rest. So we'll sell 500,000 or half a million off the shares. So how much are they going to sell them for? Let's say we sell them for, so we'll sell the shares for only a dollar each, so not much each. And after they sell them, they have $500,000, which they can then invest back into the company. Now the value of the shares is actually referred to as the market price. So at this particular time, the market price of the shares is $1. The market price can change over time, however. If the company is successful, hopefully the market price will go up. In some years time, the market price might become, let's say, $10. Now you can make good money by buying shares when they're cheap and selling them when they raise in value. We also make money just for holding shares. This brings us to the next word I'm going to talk about called dividends. When a company makes a profit, they have to choose how much of the profit goes back into the company. So some of the money goes back into the company to build it up. And then some of the profit is given to the shareholders. The money that we give back to the shareholders is referred to as a dividend. So let's look at an example of this. Let's say a company has profits of $1 million. And they say, all right, let's take half of that money. Let's take $500,000 and we're going to invest this back into the company. All right, but the rest of the money, the other half a million dollars, we're going to give to our shareholders and, and make our shareholders happy. Now, if this company was split into, let's say, 500,000 shares, how much money would you get for each share you own? Well, you would get a dollar per share, meaning that if you had 400 shares, you would get $400. If you had 100,000 shares, you would get $100,000. We now need to move on to our last term, which is called the dividend yield. Now, a dividend yield is basically the same as a dividend, except we're representing it as a percentage of the market value. All right, so for example, Let's say a person has shares in a company valued at $100. So their shares have a market value of $100. And let's say they receive a dividend of $5. We would say that the dividend is $5, but the dividend yield is 5%. This is because $5 is 5% of $100. We have a formula here which you can use to calculate the dividend yield, but if you're just good at calculating percentages, you don't really need to use the formula. Anyway, that concludes our video introducing shares and dividends. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.